Hi, this is Scott Cartwright. And this is Dr. Rudy Cartwright, the MS Health Coach. And we want to thank you for checking out our video. And because you have MS, you probably have balance problems. We hear it from a lot of our students. So if you are trying to figure out what you can do to get your balance back, you are in the right place. Before we jump into that, we wanted to let you know just a little bit about ourselves. As I said, my name is Scott Cartwright. I have a master's degree in public health and I work with people and their diseases all day on a daily basis. I'm also the founder and creator of MS Health University. And MS affects me personally because my wife has MS and so I put together MS Health University to help other MS recoverers deal with everything they're going through. Dr. Cartwright again. I'm a brain surgeon and an expert in multiple sclerosis. And if you're wondering what a brain surgeon knows about multiple sclerosis, well, let me just tell you, I have over 35 years of training and experience, and during that period of time, I've seen my share of brain injuries and spinal cord injuries because of motorcycle accidents, truck accidents, bicycle accidents, football accidents. And what occurs uh, during those uh, kinds of accidents to the spinal cord and brain, what occurs over a short period of time, occurs in multiple sclerosis over an extended period of time. Now, why am I so passionate about MS recoverers? Well, several years back, my lovely daughter-in-law was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis right in the middle of her medical school training. And my son got on the, uh, you know, uh, on the uh, phone to me and said, Dad, I don't have good news. And I said, don't worry, I know what to do about it. So that sent me back to, to the library doing my usual research and, and, and what have you. And over a period of time, I put together a program for her that she followed, and I'm happy to say she finished her medical school training, and now she is in the middle of her residency training doing quite well. And that's where I was willing to leave it. But then one day, my son walked in and said, Dad, you got to share that information so that you can help other MS recoverers. And I said, no way, Jose, I'm not interested in the limelight. Well, he, he kept hammering me and hammering on me and hammering on me and I finally gave in and I want to share that kind of information with you. So here's my uh, diploma from Baylor College of Medicine indicated that I finished five years of neurosurgical training. All right, great. And before we jump into the MS symptom that you're having problems with of balance, I just need to let you know that Dr. Cartwright is a medical doctor with over 35 years of training and experience, but the information we're sharing with you today is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as medical advice. Dr. Cartwright has not seen you as a patient and cannot give you medical advice, so whatever you do, please be sure to consult your doctor before you make any changes to your medical routine. And with that, let's figure out and find out what you can do to get your balance back. All right, let's face it. Balance is a big problem in terms of the symptoms of multiple sclerosis. And it's not just one organ that can be involved. It can be one organ or many organs. It could be your vestibular system. It could be your eyes. It could be the muscles of your neck or the muscles of your legs. It could be the muscle of the eyes. Or it could be, you know, how well you feel things or whether you have pain. It could be the brain stem. It could be the cerebellum. All of these areas can be involved either alone or in different, com uh, different combinations. So you have to address these particular areas when you are having problems with your balance. You have to address them. And when you address these different areas, you can expect to uh, get your balance back. Will it be an extended process? Yes. You won't get it back overnight, but you will slow the MS process down, you will stop it, and you can turn it around to get your balance back. Okay, here we go. Again, I present the research. There are three articles here. Uh, the one at the top. You'll see that it gives you the journal article, it gives you the title which is in bold black, and then it gives you the author. And then I give you the main point in bold blue. So what they talk about is that 
when you have multiple sclerosis, when you have multiple sclerosis, the the reason you might fall is because your balance is what is not what it ought to be. Your balance is off. Okay? In the second article, again, they are talking about your head, i.e. that's controlled by the muscles of your neck, and they're con also uh, controlled by what you see and how well you see, see things. That's important in your balance. And of course, in the third article, your posture and your vestibular, vestibular system is intimately involved with each other. Okay? All right. In this fifth article here, it talks about the, your sensation, how well you feel things in your toes and your feet, in the soles of your feet, and so forth. But not only that, how well you feel things with your hands and your fingers. They play an important part in terms of your balance and getting your balance back. So you have to address these different areas. And of course, if you want the balance symptoms to get better, you gotta restore muscle function. You gotta strengthen your muscles of your arms, your hands, your legs, your neck, your feet, your your knees, every, everywhere these muscles are, you have to strengthen them. All right, I'm gonna get you to go back for to the uh, slide before. When you talk about the vestibular system, uh, what is that exactly? The vestibular system is the system that keeps you oriented in space. It tells you what's up, what's down, what's moving and not moving. If you've better ever been in a uh, a car or a train or a bus or a plane that's sitting still, and you had something start to move next you know you're at a window and you had something to start to move but you weren't moving it appears as if you were moving well that vestibular system picked up that movement outside and you thought you were moving and it finally figured it out that you weren't the one that was moving it was something next to you that was moving that is your vestibular system that was uh, you know kicking into action if you've ever been on a swing or a merry-go-round and you're going round and round and round and round and round and round and you quit going round and round and you you know you start to put your feet on solid ground you what dizzy you start to, to sway and you start to move back and forward that is your vestibular system that has done what adjusted to movement round and round and now when it's when you stop moving round and round it has to readjust so it is very important in keeping in keeping you oriented in space okay all right thanks so what are the action steps first i want you to get your eyes checked because your vision plays a big part in terms of your balance not many people talk about it but it is true having a good visual system plays a big part in helping your balance and helping you regain your balance. We want you to strengthen your muscles. And you strengthen your muscles by doing what? By lifting little small weights first and then and then pretty soon you will lift lift, you know, uh, heavier weights, so forth and so on by walking or trying to walk. These are very important in getting your balance back. Of course, because vitamin D3 is very important in terms of the health of your vestibular system, I want you to start taking vitamin D3 anywhere from 5,000 to 10,000 international, international units every day. And please, stay away from gluten. It is toxic to the cerebellum, and the cerebellum plays an intimate uh, part in your balance, in your posture, in your walking, and so forth. All right, great. Well, hopefully you got some great information from this video. We really pride ourselves in bringing information to you that nobody else out there is talking about. And if you want to, and we think you should, 
click on the subscribe button that's above this video it will subscribe you to our channel to our MS Health University channel and when you subscribe when we post videos you get notified of the upcoming videos whenever we release them so it's a good idea to click the subscribe button just so that you get notified when we post new videos so we hope you got a lot of good information out of this we have a great time recording these things for you there will be many 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 more coming and until the next time here's to your health